The Tilton 6000 series hydraulic release bearing is designed to mount to the input shaft bearing retainer on popular transmissions like the Tremec TKO, T5, T56, TR6060, Ford Top Loader, and GM Saginaw, just to name a few. The hydraulic release bearing is self-adjusting once installed, giving consistent pedal feel throughout the clutch's lifetime as it wears. For proper operation, the 6000 series requires both initial setup of free play and bearing assembly height and adjustment of the clutch pedal stop. Begin by installing the flywheel, clutch, and bell housing onto the engine, assembling everything per the manufacturer's instructions and setting the correct torque on all fasteners. Using dial calipers, measure the distance between the bearing contact point on the clutch spring and the transmission face of the bell housing. To determine the overall installed height of the hydraulic release bearing, subtract the thickness of the straight edge used for measuring, plus an additional 125 thousandths of an inch for initial clearance. This clearance is needed so that the release bearing can self-adjust for clutch wear. As the clutch disc wears, the diaphragm spring of the clutch will extend towards the release bearing. Since clearance was set during initial installation, the release bearing is able to retract back into its main body as the clutch wears and the diaphragm spring extends outward. Install the provided O-ring into the groove on the inner diameter of the threaded sleeve and screw the sleeve into the body of the hydraulic release bearing with the O-ring on the side closest to the transmission. Thread the sleeve into the bearing until you reach the desired installed height. Once the correct height is established, Slide the bearing onto the transmission pilot tube using some petroleum jelly to lubricate the O-ring. Position the bearing so that the ports are facing the direction you would like the lines to exit out of the bell housing. The top port will be used for the bleeder line. Align the ear over the threaded hole found near the pilot tube of the transmission. Carefully remove the hydraulic release bearing and threaded sleeve from the transmission pilot tube. Using high temperature thread locker, install the anti-rotation stud into the threaded hole and torqued to 16 foot-pounds. This stud will prevent the bearing from rotating once the transmission is installed. Align the ear on the hydraulic release bearing over the anti-rotation stud and reinstall the hydraulic release bearing and threaded sleeve onto the transmission pilot tube. Double check your dimensions one last time and route the supply and bleed lines through the holes in the bell housing. Either line can be used as the pressure or bleed as long as the bleed line is on top. When bleeding the clutch, use only light pressure on the pedal, just enough to move fluid through the system without compressing the clutch spring. Once the transmission is installed and the clutch system is bled, you must set a pedal stop. The 6000 series bearing has no internal travel stop, and failing to set a pedal stop will inevitably lead to clutch, bearing, and transmission damage. With the drive wheels off the ground, put the transmission in first gear without pressing on the clutch pedal, and attempt to rotate the wheels. Slowly depress the clutch pedal until the clutch disengages and the wheels can be turned. Don't push it any further. Hold it there. Make a note of the clutch pedal position and adjust the pedal stop to allow an additional quarter inch of travel, as measured at the tip of the pedal, not the stop itself. It will only require a turn or two of the stop bolt. This will properly establish the clutch throw limit. For more information about Tilton Engineering's complete line of high-performance hydraulic components, visit TiltonRacing.com or call our experts at 805-688-2353.